What's going on YouTube? Here we are with another micro garage. My buddy Dan here. He sent me in the shop table. He made that for me. Nice epic. We're gonna cut a window out right there. It's a cool little shop table, man. It's he did some work. I didn't even give him the dimensions. I just told him 125th scale. And I mean it's a dude, it's a nice honking piece of piece of metal. It's even got like a little dirt here where it looks like a shop table. Welded it up pretty good. He did a nice job, and I really, I love it. Gave it to me for my birthday. My birthday was uh, April 1st, so, uh, you know, I haven't really been able to do some micro videos. But um, I got a question from one of my subscribers, um, Lock RCs, or Lock Rock RCs, I'm sorry if I said it wrong. Lock Rock RCs asked a question about the Orlando Hunter tires and how I modded these low C dirt tires to fit. Um, what you want to do is I had to take off my wife's tire on the Orlando Hunter there is a flat nipple on the axle here and what you want to do is on the you need two sets of the low C uh, dirt tire rims because you need the rears the fronts the holes on the front is too drilled out because those little trucks are only uh, two wheel drive so just like I want to take this low C um, dirt, this is a low C uh, dirt tire, uh, not a low C dirt tire, but this is a low C um, desert truck. And I put the low C my monster truck tires on it. So everybody thinks it's a low C monster truck, but it's not. And uh, you can do the same thing with these rims, but you would need two sets. You would want the rears because the fronts, you know what I'm saying? They just like free flow, like the hole is... You know what I'm saying? It's it's a lot bigger on these two-wheel drive vehicles than they are than what they are with the rears. So what I'm trying to say is, when you get them, you want to buy two sets of these, and you want to um, cut first. There's like a hub or something on the top of the rim. You just want to take like a knife or a you know like one of those Exacto knives or one of those hobby knives. And you want to shear it off. I just I try to do it with my Dremel as best I could, but as you can see. Oh, my tablet's gonna die. My tab or tablet. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get this out for you guys. But um, you want to shear that top off, and then you want to kind of like drill. See how I got like a C notch? It's not really like a full circle hole. I don't know. Let me see if I can do this real quick. If I can get it to match. You wanna you wanna make them to where? Like I need to go buy two another set because my one of my fronts it just free flows and I have to tighten up the bolt really really tight to get it to grab onto the axle. See how that one's that one's a perfect example right there. See how you got that little C notch. So when you put it on the axle, when you put it on the axle, it'll lock on that. It should lock even without a wheel. That's how you know you got them right. Um, I eventually I got three of them out of four right. Um, but that's how you do that's how you want to do the low C dirt tire mod so yeah you would need two sets you want to go after the rears take your fronts you can I don't use them for a trailer I'm gonna try and mod these I think these are like the the model rims that came for that it was a snap-on little model that I used for that Raptor body but I'm gonna try and drill these out and here I'm gonna have to do a reverse I'm gonna cut this nipple off flat and then I'm gonna drill the hub inside of there where it's got the little C notch so I'm gonna try and use these as bigger rims on the Orlando Hunter actually for another build that's coming up I'm going to get another model body today but um you want to have it where it matches up just like the stock Orlando Hunter rims where it's got like that C notch you want to make that notch but all right you guys um, just a little quick video I do got parts for my Orlando Hunter baby I got some uh, axles coming Finally got some ball studs coming in and I got a tool kit coming in so I can finish her truck. Alright you guys, that's going to do this micro garage. Peace, love, love you guys. Um, like, share, subscribe. See you guys in the next video.